Lego produces 36 billion bricks every single year. That's 4 million bricks every hour. 68,000 per minute. 1,140 per second. Right now, while you're listening to this sentence, Lego just manufactured 5,000 bricks. By the time this video ends, they'll have made 2.5 million more. The scale is so massive that Lego is one of the world's largest tire manufacturers because every tiny wheel they make technically counts as a tire. But here's what makes Lego's manufacturing process genuinely insane. Every single brick produced in 2024 will perfectly click with every brick made in 1958. The tolerances are so precise that bricks manufactured 66 years apart are molecularly identical. One factory in Denmark makes bricks that will fit perfectly with bricks made in Mexico, Hungary, China, and Czech Republic. The margin of error is 0.002 millimeters. That's smaller than a human hair, and they maintain this precision across 4 million bricks per hour. This is how Lego actually makes billions of bricks with impossible precision. Why their manufacturing process is more sophisticated than most car factories, and what happens inside facilities that run 24 hours a day, producing plastic rectangles that children will lose under couches forever. Everything starts with tiny pellets of ABS plastic, acrylonitrile, butadine styrene. This specific plastic was chosen in 1963 after Lego tested over 200 different materials. ABS has properties that make Lego possible. It's rigid enough to hold structures together, flexible enough not to crack when you step on it, and stable enough to maintain its shape for decades. Here's what most people don't know. Lego doesn't make their own plastic. They buy ABS pellets from chemical companies in massive quantities. We're talking train loads. The pellets arrive at Lego factories in bulk shipments, measured in tons, not pounds. Each pellet is about the size of a grain of rice, clear, white, and identical. But here's where it gets specific. Lego has custom formulas for their ABS that aren't available commercially. They worked with chemical companies to develop proprietary blends with exact ratios of acrylon ditrile, butadine, and styrene. The formula is different for different brick colors because some pigments affect the plastic's properties. Red bricks have a different ABS formula than blue bricks to ensure they have identical strength, despite different pigments. The pellets are stored in massive silos at the factories, climate-controlled, humidity regulated because plastic absorbs moisture from the air and moisture causes defects during molding. Lego maintains these silos at exactly 23 degrees Celsius and 50% humidity year-round. The pellets sit there until they're needed, which given the production volume is usually less than 24 hours. The pellets get fed into injection molding machines. These aren't normal industrial machines. Lego uses custom-built presses that cost millions of dollars each and are engineered to ridiculous specifications. Each factory has hundreds of these machines running simultaneously, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Here's how it works. Pellets enter a heated barrel where they're melted at exactly 232 degrees Celsius. The molten plastic gets injected into steel molds under pressure measured at 25 to 150 tons, depending on brick complexity. The mold closes, the plastic cools for exactly 7 seconds, the mold opens, and finished bricks drop out. That's how long it takes to make a Lego brick from molten plastic to finished product. The machine repeats this cycle 1,000 times per hour, per mold. And here's the scale. Each machine can run multiple molds simultaneously. A single injection molding machine can produce 2,400 bricks per hour. Lego's Billen factory in Denmark has over 800 of these machines running at once. But here's the precision that makes this actually work. The steel molds are manufactured to tolerances of 0.002 millimeters. That's 2 micrometers. To put this in perspective, a human hair is 75 micrometers thick. The molds are 37 times more precise than the width of a hair. 
These molds cost between $50,000 and $300,000 each depending on complexity. And here's why that precision matters. If the mold is off by even 0.01 millimeters, the bricks won't click together properly. Too tight and they're impossible to separate. Too loose and structures fall apart. LEGO maintains 0.002 millimeter precision across billions of bricks so that any brick will fit with any other brick regardless of when or where it was made. The molds themselves last about 100,000 to 500,000 molding cycles before they wear out. That sounds like a lot until you realize some molds run 1,000 cycles per hour. A high volume mold wears out in 100 to 500 hours of use. Lego replaces thousands of molds per year across all factories. Every brick that comes out of the molds gets inspected, not by humans, by machines with optical sensors and lasers measuring dimensions to the micrometer. The machines check size, shape, color consistency, and structural integrity. This happens in milliseconds per brick. Here's the rejection rate. Lego rejects about 18 bricks per million. That sounds low until you remember they make 4 million bricks per hour. That means they're throwing away 72 bricks per hour per factory. Multiply that across five factories running 24 sevens and you get hundreds of thousands of rejected bricks per year. But here's what happens to rejected bricks. They don't get thrown away. They get ground back into pellets and remolded. Lego recycles 100% of their manufacturing waste back into the production process. Rejected bricks, sprues from the molding process, defective pieces, everything gets ground up and melted again. The only waste that leaves the factory is packaging materials. The quality control doesn't stop at automated inspection. Lego also does random manual testing. Quality control workers build actual Lego sets using randomly selected bricks from production runs. If the bricks don't perform perfectly, the entire batch gets investigated. They'll trace the defect back to specific machines, specific molds, and specific production times to identify what went wrong. Here's the actual test they run. Lego bricks must survive being assembled and disassembled exactly 37,112 times before showing wear. That's the standard. They test this by building automated machines that click bricks together and pull them apart repeatedly until failure. If bricks fail before 37,112 cycles, the production run gets rejected. Lego doesn't buy colored plastic pellets. They buy clear or white pellets and add color themselves. This gives them control over exact color consistency across billions of bricks. The color mixing happens in massive industrial mixers that combine base pellets with pigment granules. Here's the chemistry involved. Some colors are simple. Red uses iron oxide pigments. Yellow uses cadmium or organic pigments. But some colors are incredibly complex. Lego's dark azure blue requires mixing seven different pigments to get the exact shade. Their transparent colors require adding clarity agents so the plastic doesn't look cloudy. But here's the difficult part. Different pigments affect how the plastic flows during injection molding. Red plastic flows differently than blue plastic because the pigments change viscosity. Lego compensates by adjusting temperature, pressure, and injection speed for different colors. Every color has different molding parameters programmed into the machines. The color consistency is monitored constantly. Spectrophotometers measure the color of bricks coming off production lines and compare them to master standards. If the color drifts even slightly, the batch gets rejected. A blue brick made in Denmark must be exactly the same blue as one made in Mexico. No variation is acceptable. Standard bricks are relatively simple. Six or eight studs, hollow bottom, basic rectangular shape, but Lego makes over 3,600 different elements. Some are so complex they require multi-stage manufacturing processes. Take minifigure heads. These require two-color molding. The head is molded in yellow plastic, then immediately transferred to a second mold, where black plastic is injected to create the next stud. 
Two different colors, one piece, achieved through sequential molding in the same machine cycle. They're made from actual rubber using a completely different manufacturing process. Lego is technically one of the world's largest tire manufacturers by number of units. They produce over 300 million tires per year, which is heating rubber with sulfur to create the flexible properties tires need. Many Lego pieces have printed designs, minifigure torsos with shirt patterns, bricks with control panels, tiles with decorative elements. These prints are applied after molding using pad printing technology. Here's how it works. A laser-etched metal plate holds ink in microscopic wells. A silicone pad presses onto the plate, picks up the ink, then transfers it to the brick. The process takes less than one second per brick and can apply multiple colors in sequence. But here's the challenge. The printing must be perfectly aligned. If a minifigure torso print is off by even half a millimeter, it looks wrong. Lego's printing machines use optical sensors to position each brick precisely before printing. The registration accuracy is 0.05 millimeters. The inks themselves are custom formulated to bond permanently with ABS plastic without requiring heat that would warp the bricks. Lego tested thousands of ink formulations before finding ones that don't fade, don't chip, and don't affect the brick's ability to click with other bricks. Finished bricks flow from molding machines to assembly areas where they're sorted, counted, and packaged into sets. This is where Lego's automation reaches peak insanity. Machines sort thousands of different element types at speeds that look like computer graphics. Here's what happens. Bricks travel on conveyor belts through optical sorting machines. Cameras identify each piece by shape and color, and compressed air jets blast them into correct bins. The machines can identify and sort 1,200 pieces per minute with 99.9% .9 accuracy. The sorted pieces get counted and bagged by weight. Lego knows exactly how much each piece weighs, so counting becomes a matter of precision scales. A bag of 2x4 bricks that should contain 50 pieces will weigh exactly x grams. The scales verify counts in milliseconds. Lego sets contain anywhere from 50 to 10, 0, 0, 0 plus pieces. Ensuring every set has every piece requires sophisticated logistics. Lego uses a system where each set's pieces are collected from multiple bins by automated systems, verified by weight and vision systems, then packaged in sequential bags for complex sets. The packaging lines run at speeds that are hard to comprehend. Large Lego sets like the Millennium Falcon that contain seven 500-plus pieces are assembled from hundreds of different bins, verified for completeness, and packaged in under 10 minutes per set. Lego operates five major factories worldwide, Billund in Denmark, Monterey in Mexico, Nenyur Jihaze in Hungary, Jiaxing in China, and Kladno in Czech Republic. These aren't independent facilities. They operate as a single integrated manufacturing network. Here's why this matters. A Lego set sold in Australia might contain bricks made in four different factories on three different continents. The pieces all arrive at a distribution center, get combined into sets, and shipped to retail. This only works because every factory maintains identical quality standards and precision. The factories are in constant communication. If Mexico runs low on red 2x4 bricks, Hungary might ship them inventory. If Denmark develops a new molding technique that improves efficiency, all factories implement it within weeks. The network operates as one distributed factory rather than separate facilities. But here's the scale. Combined, these five factories occupy over 700,000 square meters of manufacturing space. That's 172 acres of factory floor space dedicated to making plastic bricks. They consume over $1 billion worth of raw plastic materials per year. Each factory runs 24 sevenths in three shifts. Maintenance happens during shift changes. The machines never truly stop. When a molding press needs servicing, technicians have exactly 15 minutes during shift change to complete repairs before production resumes. 
Lego produces billions of plastic toys. That's an environmental nightmare that the company has spent the last decade trying to solve. They've committed to making all Lego bricks from sustainable materials by 2030. The problem is finding materials that match ABS plastics properties while being environmentally friendly. Here's what they've tried. Bio-based polyethylene made from sugarcane for flexible elements like plant leaves and bushes. This works, but only for soft elements. Rigid bricks still require ABS. They've tested over 200 bio-based and recycled materials. None match ABS for the precision and durability LEGO requires. But here's the reality. LEGO bricks last, essentially forever. A brick made in 1960 is still fully functional today. This durability means LEGO bricks don't end up in landfills like other plastic toys. They get passed down, resold, donated. The secondary market for used Lego is massive. Still, the company is investing over $400 million in sustainable materials research. They've hired over 150 materials scientists and engineers dedicated solely to finding ABS alternatives. The challenge is matching performance. Lego won't compromise on quality even for environmental benefits. Here's what makes this whole operation genuinely crazy. LEGO maintains micrometer-level precision across billions of bricks made in five factories on four continents using thousands of machines running 24 7 Every brick must fit perfectly with every other brick regardless of age, color, or origin. The company produces 36 billion bricks per year with a defect rate under 18 per million. That's 99.9982% quality. They achieve this while constantly introducing new elements, retiring old ones, and maintaining backward compatibility with 60-plus years of product history. But here's what's actually most impressive. LEGO has maintained this precision since 1958. Bricks made in the first year of production still click perfectly with bricks made today. That's 66 years of consistent manufacturing across multiple generations of molding technology. Different factories, different plastic formulations, and billions upon billions of individual bricks. The system works because LEGO treats manufacturing like aerospace engineering. Micrometer tolerances, constant quality monitoring, zero defect mentality, and obsessive process control. They're making toy bricks with the precision normally reserved for medical devices and spacecraft components. Right now, as you finish this video, LEGO's factories just produced another 2.5 million bricks, each one identical to the last, each one able to click perfectly with any LEGO brick ever made. That's not just manufacturing. That's manufacturing taken to an absolutely insane level of precision and scale that most people never think about when they step on a LEGO brick at 3 a.m.